Alrighty, righty folks, we're on the river. It is Monday, September 18th. Uh, it's about 10.30. We got the whole day to work with. Now that said, I, uh, I was fishing a week ago, feeling ill on the water, went home, took a COVID test, came up COVID positive. So that was a week ago today. Uh, still kind of feeling it. Definitely my breathing is slower. Uh, I'm not associating with anyone yet. I had enough gas in the car to make it out here and back without having to see anyone. Otherwise I wouldn't be out here. Uh, I'm planning to take another COVID test tonight. Hopefully it'll come up negative, but I am a little doubtful, uh, but I would really like it to so I can, I mean, I hate work, but go back to work tomorrow because I do like paying the rent. Uh, I mean, I hate paying the rent too, but I like being able to pay the rent. Um, Anyway, we're out here on a the river that I've really been working on learning this summer. I've been having a ton of fun out here. Uh, I've been nymphing it a lot, but I've seen big fish move on the surface. I've been having fish hit my indicator a lot lately. Uh, and then today is a, the first like real overcast, cooler day that I've had out here. As you can see, we're back in waders for the first time this season, which was really a debate for me today. It's probably upper 60s, maybe it'll be in the low 70s. It's pretty on the edge. Uh, for most water, I would probably just go ahead and wet wade because um, I can just access so much more water if I'm wet wading than if I have waders on. But uh, this river is really cold and I just think I'd probably end up having to call the day earlier than I'd otherwise like to. So I think we're gonna put the waders on uh, at least until the afternoon, we'll see. Uh, if we even make it to the afternoon, if I tuck her out from the COVID before then, you know, so be it. But the goal is to uh, dry fly fish this river for the first time this year in any serious capacity. I've put flies through occasionally. Um, we're gonna use this little thing that I tied up, a, uh, I don't know, I'd call it like a foam parachute humpy, but I tied it for this river. It's just the right dry fly size that I want. Uh, even though it's September 18th, as recently as two days ago, it was in the 80s in full sun, so it's still terrestrial time. But I'm hoping that today, uh, cause we have that, this cooler weather, this overcast, that uh, the dry fly fishing might really be on. If it's not, we'll, we'll switch to, to uh, nymphing probably, but uh, the challenge today, get a big fish on a dry fly. So that's what we're working towards. Uh, wish me luck and I'm gonna get after them. Okay, so this is the opposite of what we're trying to catch. Perfect, free. But, that was the first fish of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and break down this next chunk of water for you, how I'm doing it. So I just finished up on the last rock I was on, but I've been doing basically fishing off a rock and then I make a set of casts, move on to the next one. So first cast is near shore, near me. That's probably a little too near shore. And then I just work my way out across the water. So that way, hypothetically, I'm not lining any fish on my way up. I'm sure that I am, but in reality, I'm sure that I am lining fish. But uh, it's a little further out. Oh, wind took that. A little further out, there we go. And now we'll start lengthening out those casts and quartering it across the river. So we're gonna switch over to the roll cast here then really huck one up there. It's in some nice water. And now we'll huck one all the way across or far across and fish, fish a nice line on the other side of the river. And you can see this only takes me like four or five casts to feel like I've fished out one whole spot. But that's in part because these lines overlap. Like the back half of this drift is water that I've already drifted over before. The front half is new. So I like to, this will be my last drift in this spot. 
and then I move on up to whatever rock looks good next and repeat that process. So hopefully that'll work up a fish for me. And here we are. But yeah, oh yeah, there we go. What a slick take. Just came up nice and slow and porked it down. Oh, free again, perfect. Oh, tangled up, never mind. How many casts in a row can we go? I think that's two, right? Two fish, two casts. Oh, if I wanted to keep that record going. Oh, that, oh! Didn't hook him. Boy, it's fun watching fish come up on your fly. There we go. Oh, and he's free again. They're hangry, but where's the big one? Give me a big fish. Well, I just took a fall that involved, uh-oh. Oh! oh. Shit! Sheared the reel right off of the reel seat. Oh, fuck. So obviously I just took a fall that involved dropping my rod. And also, if you can see this, a stick went directly up my nose. Damn. Shit, I don't have an extra five weight reel with me. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off while I work on this. Look at that. Just two things I've never had happen before. Shear a reel right off the reel seat and put a stick up my fucking nose. Damn. Okay, so my repair on the five weight reel didn't work my Riverside Repair. Um, so what we're doing now, this is definitely a making do solution, but I really want to dry fly fish. So we're going to give this a try. We got the Euro rod out. So the Echo Shadow X, 10 and a half foot three weight, and then the three weight reel, which really a rod like this would do better with a five weight line probably. So the way these Euro nymphing rods work, the tip is super soft. So the tip is kind of a three weight, definitely a three weight, but the base has the oomph of a five weight. So I'd like to have a heavier line to load this up. I don't know how well this will work. <coughs> Sorry, COVID acting up there. Well, the honestly, the uh, three weight Shadow X with the three weight line is pretty damn good. We found a good one on the dry. This one came out of nowhere and took off. Good strong fish. Wow, right up close to the shore. Didn't really see this one coming. The water looked good, but oh, I still didn't predict that one. gone zipped out of there sweet okay well having a pretty good day so far we're working up into river that i have not fished very much of before and i am excited about it because i usually don't get this much time to work on the river and i like to hit all my big fish spots and then I don't end up exploring all that much. But I've got a good amount of exploration time left to play well, with. Well, got another one that I'm actually pretty happy with.
Damn. There we go. 10 inches maybe, nine inches. So right now, I'm just trying to cover water. I don't love any of this stuff in front of me just because, I mean, it looks good, but it's not the kind of water I've been catching fish in today. So you can see I'm just casting and walking continuously. So there's all these little rocks. Put it out there in that eddy for a minute while I'm stepping. Okay, run it down this tongue. See what happens there. Nothing. Okay, let's put it on the outside of that eddy. Nothing doing. Now we get up above these rocks. Let's fish the front of these rocks that are sticking out. A lot of times, so there's shelter for a fish in behind and beside a rock. People don't realize there's actually shelter in front too because the rock pushes water out in front of it. There's like a, a bubble of calm in front of the water, in front of the rock as well as behind it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just casting and relaxing. Casting and walking. Yeah, I guess that first line is only relevant if you find walking to be relaxing. But I like walking well enough. Hey, this looks like some very fishable pocket water here in front of me. I love pocket water. The fish are like right there, or they're not. There we go. Oh. Oh. Although, well, you know what? Not always, but a lot of the times it's small fish with pocket water. Although I have found a lot, many big fish in pocket water because trout like to feed in, well, rainbow trout like to feed, is my hook bent? I think so. I'm gonna swap hooks, that looks bent to me. Um, anyway, Riffles are where a lot of the bug life in the river is. So the trout get up in them, they'll get up in super shallow stuff because they're hunting. A lot of the time when they're in stuff like that, they're actively looking to eat. So that's good news for everyone. <laughs> that's crazy. I hope you guys, oh, he's gone. I hope you guys could see that fish go, go airborne for it. And another. Oh, I wish this one would get gone. There we go. Perfect. All I needed to do was wish. Wow. They're crazy for it. It's certainly not the worst fish we've seen today. Kind of choked it down, this one did. Oh boy. Ow. That was a tough one. I don't know that that fish is gonna be all right. I think it will, but. That is pro probably the number one thing I don't like about dry fly fishing is definitely that the fish really swallow it. I, I really never hook a fish that bad nymphing. Oh, that was another one gone. Oh, there's so many. So many. None in that pool right below here. Dozens up here, apparently. No, why would they want plenty of space down there? They much prefer three yards of space up here, apparently. Wouldn't be too surprised if there's a big one to be tracked down in this chunk out in front of me here. 
just up through this next, I don't know how far that is, but. Strong. One of the better fish of the day. Oh yeah, this one's a real one. Heck yeah. We like this one a lot. Beautiful. <sighs> Fucking dry flies, there we go. What is that, I don't know, 10, 12 inches? Yeah, this is what the terrain is like out here. This is why the fishing's pretty good. bigger fish are instead of just all these hordes of little ones. It's kind of fun crushing them like this though. I really just love fish. These animals are so beautiful even if they're small. I mean, look at that thing. Sweet. This is ridiculous. Okay, so quick summary of the day. Pretty good day, I'd say. Uh, first day out of the house in a week. So I'm feeling pretty good just to be on the water. Probably 20 or 30, maybe more of those little trout. I didn't count. And uh, there's a bunch of them that I didn't put on camera. And then that one big trout, which is really the day maker. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, especially because I haven't done much dry fly fishing on this river. I would say that I am not a particularly good or experienced dry fly fisherman. So the goal was to put a big trout in the net on a dry fly. And that happened today. So pretty, can't, can't be too upset. Um, pretty hungry, sun's going down and uh, I'm gonna go home and take a COVID test and see if I'm actually free tomorrow and if I can go to work. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.